This is part two of my embellishment over my reflection swipe. Oh, look at this. I mean, they are so... I mean, you can't really go wrong, like, you know, I know I have lots of people say, oh, I can't make cells or lacing, but if you have those just few products and a couple of colours, look what you can do. Unbelievable. Just look, something delicious that you could eat, your raspberries in there. Now look at the lighter one and what the black does, creates those gorgeous lacy cells i mean it's really really special absolutely beautiful there we go so you could absolutely leave it exactly as that and go on um let it dry and that's perfect as it is but i'm going to um push on with some colors that i've got in mind that may not go with it but i'm going to try <laughs> as i always do okie doke Next exciting episode. Let's hope it is an exciting episode and I don't um, wreck it, but you know, it's okay with me because I'm doing all the testing for you guys. So if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. That is perfect as it is. And lots of people love these kind of um, layered swipes. It's really lovely as it is but I'm going to push on and shock your socks off. This is cool red, no, oh, warm red, warm red with a good dash of yellow in it. So get away fly, shoe fly. So I'm going to wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. Still saving a lot of the lovely cells because as I said I started it to be a background pour and I'm going to because I had this in mind so I have to follow it through I can always do <clears throat> the reflection swipe again which I really are going to try the reflection swipe next time as a buildings use the swipe to be my buildings Oh, that stuffed up a bit there. Never mind. It's no stress. It'll work out and hopefully look as though it was meant to be there when I drop a bit. Okie doke. I'm going to go with that. Put a bit more of that very dark purple with that. Because that actual oranges and the purples look awesome together. Definitely use these colours because I just love them so much and I didn't really think I was a purple a purple person. Now I'm gonna shock your socks off and use the wattle. Is it wattle? I never remember. Wicker! It's wicker. It's <coughs> wicker. Okay. <coughs> Keep it to a small amount. Oh, no worries. I'll sort that out. <coughs> Some days this cough is really good, and then others it's not. <coughs> <coughs> oh dear. A little bit of this was just white. <coughs> I think I'm gonna have to grab a drink with the purple to make it like a lilac. <coughs> My throat's gone now. Um, 
this size balloon, which is just the um, ordinary size balloon that's got some water in it. <coughs> I haven't actually put a squirt of that black in. Not that it needs it, I don't think. Because this is better if you're actually blowing it or you're swiping it. <coughs> Never mind. Okay. Either have somewhere to um, oh, put your balloon kisses onto. See if I've got a little canvas handy. I have. I've got a little canvas, so I'm going to transfer those balloon kisses onto my canvas. So it's just beside here, and I'll show you when I've finished rather than keep having to lift my canvas up. <coughs> So here goes. Maybe I could do with a bigger balloon, but I actually could probably do with this paint to dry off a fair bit. <clears throat> and come back and balloon it because it's quite wet. If you're having trouble with the balloon kisses, they really do seem to work so much better if your paint is a little bit tacky um, for a beginner. That's what I, I find that it's easier for a beginner to do than when the paint has been sitting for a little while. This is coming along nicely, look at this gorgeous so if you've got the time to do that then definitely transfer your kisses onto your canvas those colors together are you beaut but they definitely need drying off <coughs> Skip the boring bits I have to. I'm coming back to do these again. I'm just giving them one go over. But the canvas will absorb a lot of that paint if I was to leave it for a while. Actually, probably could have done with bigger balloon kisses. If I, I'm not happy with it, then I'll just um, come back with a bigger balloon. Look at these gorgeous. So just wiping your balloon off in between <coughs> each time. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Radio. I've got my canvas covered so I don't need any more of these lovely balloon kisses. I'll just leave it at that. <coughs> and that's my kisses on there. These actually really stand out when you resin or um, gloss finish the Thing. I'm going to try something and I might have to go back over the kisses. Uh, where's my white? So let's see. This is the Amsterdam white in here with the same mix flow troll. I just want to see if I can just create a different effect again. Uh-oh. 
<clears throat> that might be a better. Ah, had a gooby thing go in there. Ah, it had a turn. I think the balloon kiss in the center of those when they've dried off a bit might look a little bit nicer than what they do at the minute. a little bit better I am going to leave this to dry off a little now they look very delicate instead of um, you know if I'd have used the bigger balloon they wouldn't have been so delicate looking so I quite like them and they're quite intricate when you come down and have a look so I'll bring the camera down and let you see the effects in these I think it's quite nice. I'm not going to blow the others, I don't think. I think they look delicately floating, like a 3D effect. You let me know what you think, but those colours really do look nice with that particular, the lilacs. Let me just get rid of those little orange. Oh, wow. Look at that. See, when you put your little balloon into those lacing, it all folds into a real little flower looking thing. It is so, I've done this, you've seen me do this hundreds of times, but look at that. Ooh, that's so nice. See, I could spend all day doing that. Absolutely love <clears throat> push, pushing the balloon in to create these delicate, I couldn't even paint them with so much detail as that. That looks so delicate, unlike me, but it does look delicate. I'll bring you down to have a look at these floating. Look at that. That's gorgeous. They really do look 3D. Though they just float in there. Oh, please, please try these. They are so much fun to do. And yet, even if you're not, if you don't consider yourself an artist, you could definitely do this. You can do it. Really, really, really. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous little floaty 3D things. Okay, I am going to leave it right there, people. I'm going to leave it to dry off. I, I think it's been a long time before I did the um, sort of offset swipe with those in it. I like it. Um, so that's ultimately, it's only you you have to please. Unless you're doing a commission piece for somebody and then obviously you've got to, you know, try and do what they ask you to do, which I absolutely dislike <laughs> I like to do my own thing the way I like to do it. please stay safe enjoy your holiday and if you haven't subscribed please do so I really appreciate it helps me and um, it's absolutely free so subscribe okie doke until tomorrow my lovelies enjoy don't eat too much have a sing and a shindig and enjoy <laughs> I'm just back for a reminder. I did a few more of the little balloons, but you can actually use your finger to create little baby ones like just dip your finger in and out and it gives this lovely effect. I just, I'm not sure if I've ever showed you guys, but it is just so it can be with your finger if you want to give tiny, delicate little fireflies and butterflies so i've done a few of those on there too just a quick reminder <laughs>